Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jared, and this is my fourth video of how to build a jet engine. Alright, so today we're going to get started on the fuel system. I'm sorry, it's been forever since my last video. It's been at least six, seven months. Um, but I finally got some parts. I'm ready to go. Like I said, things have been a bit pricey, um, but I've tried to take a couple shortcuts to save not only myself, but for you guys back home. So again, we're experimenting. We'll see how this works. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the parts we have. First one is my fuel nozzle. This is normally made for a waste oil burner or a furnace, and I found this on eBay. Um, I was planning on building a, most of the fuel system around this, but it has a really odd pipe thread that I couldn't find many fittings for, so I'm kind of improvising for now to get this video rolling until I can find the right thing. So instead of that nozzle, I've got a barb fitting, um, and I've seen it done before where we're just going to crush the end so that it has some extra pressure on it and it'll, it'll spray out, so hopefully this should work, and, uh, but the nozzle will work better, so, but we'll move up to that. Um, but I've also got an extension shaft, uh, some other fittings, I've got a female compression fitting, and a couple male ones. And these are actually going to go on my oil pump, or it's actually going to be the fuel pump, but it's made for oil. Um, this is a SunTech pump, and that's great, I just spilled oil all over the place. It's a motor-driven pump, so we're going to have a separate motor going on this, and this is what's going to power our fuel system. And the last thing I have is quarter-inch outer diameter copper tubing. Uh, this is just going to be all the fuel lines for right now. Alright. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to take apart my flame tube. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Alright, well now that I got this apart, uh, what I need is I need a hole just as big as this to go in the bottom plate and in the bottom of this one I need a hole quite larger than this to give me enough room to work with. So we're going to go ahead and get that drilled. Alright, so I've got both of those holes drilled now. I have the one in the bottom plate, which is this middle hole right here. And I also have a larger hole in the bottom of the flame tube. Now those holes will work for my uh, fuel nozzle, which is actually this right here. I've got a nut so I can tighten it on both sides. And then just a 3 inch shaft, the female coupler, and the barbed nozzle. I'm going to clamp this down later, uh, but it's not right now because I'm going to experiment, kind of see how much I need to clamp it down to get the pressure and spray that I need. So you guys can go ahead and assemble that. Uh, make sure to use Teflon tape and we'll get these parts put together. Alright, so right now I'm taking the, uh, the end of my nozzle, putting it through my plate, and then I have a female uh, compression fitting that fits onto the shaft. I'm just going to tighten that on there. Alright, well I got everything on there nice and tight. Now it's time to hook up some of the compression fittings to the uh, copper tube. So I didn't get to film it, but I did do a little test run of the uh, combustion chamber without the... without anything else. So without the turbo attached to it, or oil lines, or ignition system, anything like that. Um, I was playing with the diesel fuel a bit, and I don't know if you've ever played with diesel fuel, but it doesn't burn right away. So it has to be warmed up, and it, uh, I didn't think it would have to be warmed up that much. But, so I tried it with regular gasoline, and it worked pretty cool. But gasoline kind of scares me. Um, I hear it's unsafe, so I'm kind of, kind of going to stay away from that. So right now, to do my pilot light, I'm going to run propane. So I went out and bought me a propane torch. Uh, this was 12 bucks at my hardware store. 
basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the fitting there and use some more copper tubing to run it straight into my combustion chamber and it's going to should put out a nice flame right around the flame tube. So I'm going to get started on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this torch nozzle and take the tip off just like that and there's not there's a very small hole there so I'm gonna cut it with a pipe cutter I've got that all cut next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the compression fitting on it so the next couple pieces I have I have a one and a half inch um, extension shaft a um, female ended coupling and a barb fitting. I used this barb fitting on the last one and I crushed it um, pretty much with my hammer. Um, it, uh, it works pretty well. Um, I crushed it so that you could, you almost can't tell that there's an opening in it, but when I ran the fuel pump, it sprayed out pretty nicely. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Alright, now this is what it's going to look like. This part's going to go into the combustion chamber. And uh, once I take the camera out in the garage, you'll get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, right now, the propane tank is going to be right next to the combustion chamber. But I'm not going to keep it like that. It's just going to be until I have it fully running and uh, all that fun stuff. But I will have a hose going in between here to kind of give me some more distance. Alright, since I've got this all put together, I'm going to test it out and we'll see how it works. Um, one of the good things about these videos is no one will ever wonder how I died. So, with that said, yeah, this does make me a little bit nervous. Sometimes I don't really know what's going to happen. So we're going to try this out and see how it works. Not too bad. That might work nicely. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Excellent. All right, so I pulled the flame tube out of my combustion chamber. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in it for my propane nozzle to go through. Let's get started on that. All right, so right now I've drilled a second hole in the bottom plate here for my nozzle to go through. I've also drilled another hole in the bottom of the flame tube and one more uh, up in the top so that when you align these you got the nozzle sticking out right there alright I got both nozzles on I'm about to uh, bolt this up to the flame tube so as far as the fuel system goes that's pretty much it um, I was going to make a video of me testing the combustion chamber, but without having the ignition system rigged up first, it was pretty much just 30 minutes of me burning the hair off my knuckles. Um, so one of those will come up soon. Uh, next is going to be, of course, the ignition system. And so far, we made the uh, pilot light with a propane torch, and then you've got your other fuel nozzle for your normal fuel system. And I hope that this has been really helpful for you guys. Oh, 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 oh,